right out of the gate, we created a manifesto. We had a very purpose statement and a manifesto that was very customer centric. I've had the same staff for 10 years. Nobody leaves me um, because they don't get to do what we do anywhere else from to, to the to the capacity that we do. Um, things are shifting and things are moving because that's the way the world works. But they needed to have a philosophy of customer first. Customer centricity is the term where any decision is why would they care? Why? Who are we helping? Who are we serving? There was a UX exercise we did eight, nine years ago, uh, user experience, for those who may not know, where we talked to the users, i.e. customers, i.e. the public, about how we're doing in web properties. And one of the quotes that we heard was, you didn't write this for me, you wrote this for yourselves. I wrote that on my whiteboard and it has been there for nine years because <laughs> I'm, well, it's like, hey, hey, anytime somebody pitched me an idea that I thought was like, okay, who's that for? Is that for me and you? That, that's not our audience. So who's it for? So anything we do, we craft for the audience we're trying to serve. We're checking the metrics. We're seeing what people are responding to education-wise. We're looking at the questions the public's asking. And if the public's asking a lot of the same questions, that means we have not created content or a website that answers those questions. Because the most important thing I want to do to help my ministry, my organization, is less phone calls, less emails because I'm doing a better job of making content findable, searchable, and so forth. So that's more the proactive side of things. But it's also creating content like, why do we need to slow down in a construction site if there's no workers there? You know how many people ask that question? A lot. So we create content that answers those questions. Why do we close roads for eight hours? Because they're crime scenes when people have accidents. People don't understand the context. context sometimes. They just see, I can get home, I can't get home. And, and I get it. That's their world. And that's all they care about because it's, it's what impacts them. So to provide that context is really helpful when it comes to follow up, when it comes to pulling content. We, content we created seven years ago is still as relevant today because we create it for evergreen purposes. So when we create it, well, like, hey, do we have a blog? Oh, yeah, we wrote that in 2015. It's still useful. Yeah, we'll update it a little bit and then share it. So our, our focus is very much answering questions within a time frame through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we also are on Flickr. Yeah, Flickr still lives. And YouTube as well. So we're using those platforms, Instagram stories and so forth, to answer questions. That's the whole point is to just get that engagement of, do you have questions? We got answers. 